Well, whether you are in the path or not, guaranteed, Fox Weather is going to be the best place to be for this event. I mean, our team is spent out across the path of totality. Yeah. It starts in Texas, goes all the way up through Arkansas, central portions of Indiana, Ohio, and then moves into northern New England, which the crazy thing is, who would have guessed that northern Maine would have the clearest skies in this forecast in April. Especially after the weekend they just sat through with the Nor'easter just hanging in there and dropping tons and tons of snowfall. That finally clears that on cue. Northern New England looks great. Some areas that don't look so great, we'll get right to it because we've got some clouds in the forecast and there's some updated forecasts as well. Now we've got that around Dallas at 140. That's when totality starts later this afternoon. That is central time. And Britta, they're so close to getting clouds or no clouds right there. I'm thinking we're going to get lucky, though. I think uh, so too. Unfortunately, in Texas, we have a risk of severe weather later this evening. It's going to be way past the path of totality, but a second show that you really need to be aware about. So we'll be watching that here on Fox Weather. Uh, looking at the conditions right now, we're just getting some sunlight. This is our visible satellite. We need the sun up to use this yeah, product. Yeah, it's an actual snapshot of the atmosphere. It's not infrared. It's an actual photo. Exactly. So this is the most influential when it comes to cloud cover because this is so dependent on sunlight that's why you got to stick with us today because we're going to be analyzing these images as we get closer to really know right. what and we're as working they filter with. in well we'll keep them show them to you so you know exactly where the clouds are located but here's the way it looks over the last six hours and this is the infrared so essentially it's measuring the temperature in the atmosphere the colder the temperature it's cloud and they paint a specific color for it the brighter white the real cold temperatures are there look at the thunderstorms across the northern parts of looks like mississippi alabama and now redeveloping again across lower arkansas that's the morning event behind it clearing skies with some sinking air, but wrapped up in a jet stream, some high-level clouds, too. You can see it. Yes, high-level clouds, not necessarily a complete moment squasher. You can actually get a really cool enhancement if you have high-level clouds. So you might be the one that's looking at the visible satellite later today, hoping to see a little veil of ice crystals over the sky. So maybe you can see that effect. But whatever you got, we're here for it. Yeah. Uh, if you miss out on the best viewing, we're going to give you the best viewing because we have so many uh, co-workers that are across the path of totality. We so do. There if you go. miss in one spot, we're going to get you somewhere else. At least, at least on this cloud cover forecast, it looks like most of the real thick cloud cover is going to be to the east of the line of totality. We're going to see about that. But you can see, Austin, you guys are going to be right there on the razor's edge. That's something we're watching, too.